just in time. The mast is too tall to go under the bridge, puffed Rosie. Then I shall take another track, huffed Thomas. Thomas chuffed proudly on. Then there was trouble. He heard a loud crunch. Thomas looked up. Tall trees were hanging over the track. Oh no, cried Thomas. The tall mast must have caught in the trees. Thomas couldn't move forwards or backwards. So he huffed and he chuffed. And with a mighty puff, Thomas broke free. Hooray, tooted Thomas. But Thomas didn't know the ropes holding the sails had untied. Thomas was feeling very grand now. The wind was strong. It was blowing him along. Whee! Thomas cried happily. He was going faster and faster. The wind grew stronger. Thomas raced round a bend. Be careful, Thomas, Molly tooted. The wind is filling the boat's sails. But Thomas whooshed by so quickly he didn't hear her. The mayor, Sir Topham, and Lady Hat were waiting at the harbor. They could see Thomas racing towards them. Slow down, Thomas, boomed Sir Topham Hat. But Thomas couldn't slow down. The mayor, Sir Topham, and Lady Hat could not believe their eyes. Thomas whooshed past and raced away from them. Faster and faster around a bend in the track. Suddenly the wind dropped and Thomas stopped. Phew, if the wind picks up again, I'll never be able to stop at the harbor, he cried. The boat will not be launched and the mayor will be very cross. Thomas knew that he had been wrong not to wait for the engineer at the docks. I must chuff back to the docks as quickly as I can and I must bring the engineer to lower the masts, he tooted. Thomas was uncoupled from the flatbed, and he steamed off. Thomas's wheels whirred to a stop at the docks. Has the engineer arrived, Salty? puffed Thomas. Oh, yes, me hearty, smiled Salty. Thomas was very relieved. The engineer climbed quickly into Thomas's cab and Thomas steamed off. Soon Thomas arrived at the sailing boat. The engineer rolled the sails and lowered the mast. Slowly Thomas chuffed back to the harbor. The boat was heavy. Thomas had to puff hard. This time the wind couldn't help him. The mayor, Sir Topham Hat and Lady Hat were still waiting. They were happy to see Thomas and they were happy to see the mayor's sailing boat. Thomas, boomed Sir Topham Hat, I see you have decided that full steam is better than full sail. Aye, aye, sir, tooted Thomas. And as he watched the boat slide into the water, Thomas was very proud to be really useful.